I just I like that shit. I tested the blue one, and he's more powerful than I anticipated. Yeah, boy. He shows much potential. Who cares about him? Now that I'm free, I want to squeeze Eggman till he pops. I know some people who are into that. Eat him, I suppose. Stop. Oh, yeah. Stop. Better ways to make him suffer. But more delicious. What would you say? I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go over here now, and when you guys feel like stopping, just let me know. Well, I would say that I had taught you well. Yes, you have. Still a great visual. That's fucked up. Creation causes his destruction. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Moa. They they have an evil laugh like <laughs> And then they just kind of stare awkwardly at each other. <laughs> like it's 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 it is it's kind of it's it's it, I wouldn't say it's tongue in cheek necessarily, but it's self-aware, which I always think is pretty fun. Like people again, like people when after this game's writing of all things being like, oh, Ken Pont Pontic and Grat, whatever the fucking happens to these guys are. Like, oh, they're running out of steam. This game, this game story is kind of, uh. I'm like, no, I don't see that. I don't agree with that at all. What are you fucking talking about? Like, A, the primary three characters, Sonic, Tails, and Eggman, get their fucking chops. And B, the Zeddy are funny! Like, they're just supposed to be funny little mini-boss dudes. What's the big fucking deal? Of course they're not super in-depth. So what? There's more to life. <laughs> there's, there's, there's nothing wrong with, like, keeping it simple. You know? I don't see that as a bad thing. Ugh. You can have characters who are just kind of one-dimensional and simplistic. There's nothing wrong. To a... Yeah! To a very large degree, as I've always said, Sonic himself is a pretty simple, one-dimensional character. And I think he's a fantastic character. Like, he doesn't have a lot of depth. He doesn't have a lot of development. We don't know what his backstory is, where he came from, and what his... Like, and, and his motivations are literally, I just want to have a good time. Like, he doesn't have any lofty goals, aspirations, or motivations. He's, he's a very simple, one-dimensional kind of character. There's nothing, and I think he's fantastic. I think Sonic's a wonderful character. I don't see anything wrong with having a simplistic kind of character in your story. And yet, this game, again, actually kind of, kind of, kind of does some stuff, but we'll get to that when we get to it. But even already, we've seen him be like, oh man, I shouldn't have done that. Should have listened to you, Tails. So we're already seeing it a little bit. Ooh, cannot believe I made that. So we're already seeing that a little bit, but okay, that would be like, oh, the Deadly Six, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so what? So is Sonic. What's the big fucking deal? These complaints are so dumb. Like, A, are they d A, they're dumb. B, you're ignoring that the shit that fucking Eggman and Tails do are pretty sick-ass fuck stuff. Also, so go fuck yourself. The end. So, like, okay. Oof. You know, done. 
with that. Like, everyone, like, people who say this game's bad, eh, they're, the reasons they say it's bad are dumb, they're stupid, fuck them. Let's actually prioritize here now. Set those. Let's set refuting those people aside. Because what's the best evidence to proving, oh, this game is bad? Here's the game. Where's the bad part? Okay, you guys stay safe down there. I'll try to figure out what's going on and stop it. It almost kind of feels like they're taking what they did in Sonic Colors and, like, expanding on it a little bit, because Sonic Colors was a very simple, like, excuse plot kind of story. It was very back to basics, where it was just Sonic Tales and Eggman's got his big dumb plan and they're just gonna go bust up his stuff because it's a good time. And there were no real stakes or consequences to what was happening in that game. Kinda. Like, because, like, what was Eggman's big plan? Oh, I'm gonna bust up, I'm gonna blast the planet with my mind control. Sonic already accidentally, like, put a, put a stop to that plan without even realizing it right after the first boss. So, literally, they could have just gone home and his plan would have been foiled, right? Like, something Sonic did thoughtlessly without even really thinking about it resulted in saving the day, and him not really knowing what's going on was part of the fun. Like, part of the, yeah, we're just having a good time, but, like, there's not really much conflict or depth to what's happening here. And then you get to this game, and Sonic like, not really knowing what's going on and acting impulsively and just busting up Eggman's shit has resulted in the worst possible thing going down, and now, literally directly because of his actions, the Zeddy are draining the planet, and now his the entire planet is at risk, and everyone's, like, super in trouble because of what Sonic did, so the stakes couldn't be higher, actually. <laughs> Huh? Your time is almost over, Bash Hedgehog. I Bash Hedgehog. For you, a lesson in respect. A you clearly Bash. don't know me. Oh, someone's gonna get taken to school, all right. <laughs> That's awesome. If you dare. Once again, it's so great to actually have some new characters to bounce off of for Sonic, because like, like Eggman is great to make fun of. Like, he has that, uh, fuck you, Baldi McKill's here quality. Ah, fuck. But, like, he's not gonna... Like, like there's... There, you kind of mind. Like, that, 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 that well doesn't exactly go very deep now, by this point. So it's great to have some new villains showing up for him to quip against with different traits. Where, where, like, oh, I'm the old, wise, and nasty guy. Yeah, well, fuck you, I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, it's great to have different kind of villainous personalities for Sonic to... Like, ah, uh, fuck you, like, stick his thumb in his nose at them, you know? That's what I'm trying to say. Like, instead of it just being Eggman every time, it's good to have different characters with different personalities showing up that he can bounce his Devil May Care personality off for comedic potential. And again, further, like, demonstrating how Sonic is just... Like, I am the all strong. I, I fucking broke the laws of time and space. I, I, I bent physics itself over my knee by accident because I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. Just because I. Just because I literally didn't know any better. <laughs> oh, fuck. But yeah, like. Uh, 
Uh, like it's take it's sort of it's it, it in many ways it feels like it's taking what Sonic Colors was and like responding to it in a way. Like I don't know what the appropriate word to describe would be like. Like it's their answer to what they did with Sonic Colors. You know what I mean? Like it's doing the same thing Colors did. Being schooled? Well, in that case, class is in session. Oh god, I'm dead. Whew. Anyway. Where it's taking the same kind of back to basic simplistic setup. I mean, the game started with Sonic and Tails chasing after Eggman because he had, a, like, their animal buddies trapped in a little roboticizer. And they found a planet that he had tethered to the Earth. Like, it's almost exactly like Planet Wisp. And their motivations for getting involved were very simplistic and like, fuck you, gotta stop Eggman because he's a dick. It's kind of beat for beat taking the same kind of story that Sonic Colors was doing, but in a way is kind of taking a more mature treatment of it. Oh, fucking these guys. Always hated you guys. Oh, why can't I? Oh, I gotta kick the coconuts. Fuck. I gotta kick the coconuts back at them. Ooh. Ah, fuck. Like, it feels that way in terms of, like, even beyond just the story, it feels that way in terms of its design, too. Where, again, it feels like, hey, everyone, put an idea in a, in a hat and we'll pick them out. And if we pick out your idea, that's going in the game, for sure, right? And what I think is extra funny is, while the story actually goes to some pretty mischievous place, like, some pretty... Like, more adult. Like, what's the, what's the right proper term to use to describe it? It's not just, oh, thoughtless, G-shuck Saturday morning whatever, like, consequence-free, partying it up, having a good time at this interstellar amusement park anymore. It's actually... There we go. It's actually, like, looking... It's actually, like, being a little bit more... Thought... It's such a hard... It's such a hard way to think of how to describe it. I don't want to... Like, it's still pretty... Simple, but it's taking the things they did in colors and doing something different with it. It's hard for me to think of the right words for some reason. <laughs> oh, didn't hit that checkpoint. Come on. See, look how cool this is! Old tidal wave! Pushes up the little pillars. I, you'll see what I mean as we go forward here about what was the core found it like, again, Sonic's just doing exactly what he did in colors. I'm just gonna do this thing without even really thinking about what I'm doing. Oh shit, now everything bad that's about to happen is literally my fault. That's not a- that's not- that's not way past cool. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of... I feel like I'm a hundred years old <laughs> when I'm finished, I'll go clubbing. Like, again, it's sort of like the actions are the same, but the consequences of those actions are different compared to what happened in colors. Your lesson begins now. He has fruit powers! Run away! <laughs> 
Oops. Oops. Fuck. There we go. And then what else would you say were like the the things that Colors of Story did? Well, it kind of treated Eggman as sort of an ineffectual villain, for one thing. And even more, you know, like, like Sonic Colors, that he didn't even have like any huntsmen, like. It sort of feels adventure-esque in how, like, oh, the, like, the monster of the week is taking the reins of the antagonist of the game from Eggman. Ah, shit. But even, li like, compared to the adventure games and to Generations, it kind of does something different in those regards. Like, it's not like, okay, the final boss is gonna be the Super Zeddy, you know? Your lesson begins now. Actually, it reminds me of how, like, in the DS version of Sonic Colors, like, it had, like, the Mother Wisp or whatever, and that was the final boss instead. <laughs> and, but anyway, like, I'm trying, I'm trying to, like, explain how the plot, like, things the plot does without spoiling basically, is why I'm kind of stumbling and stammering here. Whoa. Here? Like I'm trying to find a good spot to aim, because I can't look up. So what would one of the other core aspects of what the narrative of Sonic Colors was, would you say? The, the primary thing, aside from, like, what the actual conflict of the story was, I would say is the relationship between Sonic and Tails. Which, like, date, like, one of the things I kept talking about over and over when we did Sonic Colors was, look, they're buddies, they're bros, like, I buy it. For, like, kind of the first time, I buy them as fucking life partners, you know? And then this game also takes Sonic and Tails' relationship as a core theme that the story goes into. One so long that it will take both of us to overcome Whatever! I told you, we can handle the Zeddy by ourselves! That may be true, but the rebellious swine have gotten hold of a device of mine. Rebellious swine. ways for which it was never designed. Uh, what was it designed for, Doctor? <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to extract energy from our world, but the machine is unstable! Once it reaches full power, it can't be shut off! Why would you design it that way? Oh, so that's what Amy was talking about. And you just want to go smash it, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> what? That's what I do! Oh, always your answer to everything! See what I'm talking about? If you wish to create a cataclysmic explosion that will incinerate everything within a hundred miles, please, smash away! So, there's no off switch? No, not anymore. I need to get to the machine and reprogram the shutdown sequence. I'll supply the brains. You will supply the brawn I need to get past the Zeti. Oh, and you're asking so nice. <laughs> Good one, buddy. <laughs> Good <laughs> you, buddy. I don't like working with my most hated. Good old buddy. But our entire world is at stake. Yeah, well, teaming up with you feels like the end of the world, Eggman. I don't want to take a long shower by the time we're done. Man up, Tails. Motherfucker, you try to kill us all the time. Oh, what's this? I forget. Like, let's think about what the last real interaction between Tails and Eggman one-on-one -on -one was. Uh, oh yeah, you blasted Sonic out of a capsule into space intending to kill him. For all I knew, he was dead. Last time, 
Tails and Eggman were like, okay, you, me, in a room. You killed my- you killed my fucking brother. Go fuck yourself, Eggman. <laughs> what is this? I forget. Oh, I think it's just a challenge stage. I don't really want to do this. Come- come on. Okay. I wanted to wait until I got a new PS3 controller because this one is fucked up, but... I was all fired up because a new fucking trailer for Sonic Forces dropped today. I was very excited. So, like... <laughs> like, that's another thing people complain about about the story is Tails is like, fuck you, Eggman. Yeah, fuck you, the guy who, like, tries to murder us constantly, tries to take over the world, enslaves helpless animals. Look, we're ice skating. Yeah! Ice skating. And look, he does little pirouettes. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah! Look at Sonic jumping! Oh, it's so cute! Oh, fuck, I just walked into the torrent dive. Like, let's, let's lay down the list of the shit Eggman has done as a, as like a villain to Sonic and Tails throughout their career. Uh, tries to kill them constantly. Like, literally every single interaction they ever have is murder-based. Which, like, he fails. And it's actually kind of fun, to, from Sonic's perspective at least. Death-defying uh, conflict of that nature. But, I mean, there's a reason- there's- a reason that Tails doesn't really deal with Frontline's conflict anymore, right? Like, he was only ever doing the running, speeding along, beating up bots lifestyle because he was emulating Sonic. That is what Sonic did, so he wanted to, like, live up to that example. But... Like now that he's developed and is has self actualized and is more self assured, that's not what he wants to spend his time doing. Sonic's not a Tails isn't like a front lines fighter, damn it, kind of dude. Fuck. I mean, he's like just a normal, neutral, good kind of little fox who like wants to spend his time working on his gadgets and gizmos and flying the tornado around. He does not take part in front lines fighting anymore because that's not his thing. That's what Sonic likes to do. That's your thing. Like, why would I want to get involved with that anymore, right? It sort of feels like trying to get your girlfriend to go extreme rock climbing with you or something. Like, that's not... Fuck. Like, that's not my thing, you know? I'll come, and I'll watch, and I'll help. I'll hold the rope, but I don't like extreme rock wall climbing. That's not my thing. That's sort of where Tails is at. Like, I'm helping save the world, because that's what we do together. Because I'm supporting your... Like, this lifestyle that you enjoy doing. Because I'm your partner, and that's what partners do. They support each other. But that's not my thing. If I had my way, I would just spend my time chilling out at my little workshop working on my gizmos. So Sonic might be like, ah, that old sassafras trying to kill us all the time. Whatever. We're having fun going on adventures. Tails is probably going, no, Sonic, I don't like almost being murdered every single day of my life. Fuck that guy. I am so not okay with this, right? <laughs> yeah, he's a little bit more grounded in terms of that perspective. Uh, like, he's not the kind of person to be, oh, no, no. Fuck. He's not the kind of person who's gonna be like, yeah, well, let's get rid of him permanently. He's the kind of guy who just, like, I get the impression at least, who doesn't want to deal with this shit. Who doesn't want to risk life and limb going on these adventures. He only does because that's what Sonic has fun doing. And he's gotta support his buddy. Whereas I feel like if he had any other choice, like, for example, if Sonic wasn't around, he'd probably be like, okay, fuck this then, I'm gonna go. 
I got my own shit to deal with. I don't want to risk life and limb and almost get killed by fucked up robots. This is stupid. <laughs> so again, so, like, tangent, but Sonic's response to almost constantly being murdered by Eggman is, yeah, but it's fun, right? Tails' response is, no, no, it's not. The fuck is wrong with you? Fuck that guy. Like, still doesn't really have animosity towards the guy, like, in terms of... Animosity is not the right word. Doesn't have, like, malicious intent towards Eggman. He's not gonna be like, let's get rid of him. He's like, I don't want to have anything to do with this fucking dude. He tries to kill us all the time. He almost did kill you that one time. Remember that time he killed you, and I thought you were dead, and it was fucking horrible? <laughs> Like, I'm just saying, Sonic, fuck Eggman, right? So, like, again, I all that to say. Like, one of the things people complain about with this game is, Aw, Tails, why are you being such a bitch? I don't know, maybe because Eggman's an evil asshole. Maybe that might have something to do with it. Anyway, long walk for a short drink of water. Like, my point is that that thing people complain about is misfounded in their complainerizing. Ah, fuck. Complainerizing. Oh, shit. Whew. Worrisome, because it has zero rings. Anyway, like, that's the impression I feel is almost like you could run a thread between this game and... Sonic Colors, and it would match up pretty closely, with the differences being like, like, like the tone, I think. Like, I'm not sure, again, like what the correct word to go with would be, but I hope hopefully you get what I mean, where, what, fuck, where Sonic Colors was all, yeah, fuck it, happy, good times, like, zero consequences, whatever. Like, it was just purely a thrill ride kind of experience, whereas Sonic Lost World here is taking the same events, taking the same through line, and a different result. Like, see, this is one of those things where it's like, oh, how does the parkour work? You're an idiot, that's how it works. <laughs> Yeah! So it's just funny to me that it feels like after Sonic Colors with them cutting their teeth and just like... I don't want to say disposable, but it was like, a, it was like junk food, like just pure candy. A pure dessert kind of experience. This actually has some vegetables to it. You know what I'm saying? I'm really bad at, me at like metaphors. You get what I'm saying, though? It's still, like, Lord, that same kind of self-aware, pun-tastic humor. I need? <laughs> if you weren't always destroying them, I wouldn't need something. <laughs> like, stuff like that still lands, still kind of cracks me up. No problem. Sorry you got stuck with a voice chip that looks like it was built by a two-year-old. <laughs> I think I liked it better when I was trying to destroy you. Yeah, well, feelings mutual, Eggface. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Before we start destroying each other, let's remember why we're working together. Okay, please remind me. <laughs> we need Eggman to He's shut mad, down the machine. And you don't trust me to do it. What? No! I trust you, Tails. It's just that... No, you don't. You trust Eggman more. Do you know how much that bites? I do trust you, Tails, but the whole world's in danger because I did something stupid. Do you know how much that bites? Actually, nothing bites more than having to listen <laughs> to this dreadful conversation. Hey, hey man, man! You, you bite! bite! See, again, like, that's when people complain about that. Oh, Tails, why are you being such a little bitch? I don't know. Maybe because Eggman's a piece of shit? <laughs> like, I don't know, I feel like there's some merit to his argument there. I mean, think about that conversation, actually. Sonic's motivated by... So, a, let's actually think about this in terms of criticizing the people who complain about it, and let's think about it in terms of, hey, look at how fucking kind of awesome this story is. 
Sonic is being motivated by guilt. For one thing, his actual motivation in this game is not, yeah, let's save the world and have a good time. His, his motivation is, oh shit, I fucked up. Better fix it by working with Eggman. Yeah, Eggman, you can come along and help out because you're saying, okay, I'm the only one who can deal with this. So I guess I'll put up with that so that I can fix the mistake that I made. Meanwhile, what happened in that cutscene? Tails fixed the faulty voice chip that Eggman broke and spent an entire game trying to fix to no avail and could not fix until the very end. Eggman never fixed that voice chip. It only got fixed when Orbot slapped Cuba on the back. Eggman literally never fixed that voice chip. Literally in two seconds of it breaking in this game, Tails fixes it. Gee, maybe there's some merit to Tails' argument that he can actually do this thing that Eggman's claiming he would be able to do better than Eggman would. I don't know. Maybe, maybe his feeling of, God, I fucking this guy who's tried to murder us. And now he's going like, fuck you, Sonic, like, come on. I mean, seriously? Like, seems kinda reasonable to me, I don't know.